Sports. It's in the game. It's the NFL on EA Sports, and we are at Venerable Soldier Field in Chicago. Straight ahead, we've got a pretty good one on tap here, as it'll be the Kansas City Chiefs taking on the Chicago Bears. Here's the punter, Trenton Gill, now to do the honors, and off we go here at Soldier Field. And the opening kickoff will not be returned as that will be a touchback. And Mahomes going to put it up right away. They'll get this complete to Kadarius Tony. Down the sideline he goes. Inside the 10. And all the way in for a Kansas City touchdown. Kadarius Tony, 75 yards. And the Chiefs are on the board first here this afternoon. Extra point by Butker is on target. And that makes the score 7-0. Now after the touchdown, here's Butker on to kick it away. And he'll take it a yard or so past the 20, call it the 21. Fields and the Bears now with a first and 10 at their own 21. They'll run it here. This is Deontay Foreman. Up past the 25 to the 26, a gain of five. A quick burst there, and he nicely bit off a pretty decent game. Brings up second and five. Now second and five. They run again with Foreman. And he's dropped just before the line to gain. Four-yard pickup leaves him with third and one. Typically, we think it's the strong safeties that are better tacklers, especially closer to the line of scrimmage amidst traffic. But in this case, how about the free safety coming up and making the big-time play? Fields to throw on third and one. And he'll be hit as he releases it, and that'll fall incomplete. That was their first third down try of the game, and clearly something was off in the execution of that play. Good news, they've got a whole game left to clean that up and start clicking on those key third down throws. 
Here we go. And how about this one now? In their own territory, a gutsy call. They're going to go for this on fourth and a yard. Now motion left with Mooney. And he is caught. And they're going to have this across midfield and inside the 45. A gain of 26 and a conversion there as well on fourth down. Charles, their first drive of the game, and already they're taking chances here, but they get the fourth down conversion. I'm curious, do you think that that's something they game plan for on the opening drive if it came up, or is that something that happened organically? I think that they game plan for it, Brandon, and when you think about it, Let's just say it. The word analytics is a big part of how everyone looks at a game nowadays, but it's not just the analytics. It's a coach willing to be daring, willing to be bold, and they certainly were there. And he's going to get stopped up quickly. Give him a yard down to the 43. Early down stuff to put this offense in a precarious position. We know that securing the point of attack, especially against the big body guys in the middle of this D, has got to be priority one. Second and nine. Now it's Fields. His throw incomplete. We'll put a check mark in the box where the defense coordinator was saying, how well can we stay with these receivers if we're in man coverage? Because he just did it on that one. Force the incompletion. That allowed him to get bolder with his pass rush, won't it? Absolutely. Freeze up your guys elsewhere. The first down line at the 34 here on third down. Now Fields. He'll buy some time right. And this pass broken up. And the contact well timed there. And now fourth down. He did a fine job there not hitting him before the ball arrived. And I've got to tell you, you can often miss time that play because of the angles of approach. When you're going to get him, sometimes you panic as well and think, I've got to be there right now. Instead, in this case, timed it perfectly and knocked it free. Yeah, he was looking for the checkup bounce, didn't get it. That scoots all the way into the end zone now for a touchback. The Chiefs offense about set to begin this drive. Well, partner, you know, coaches always say that every play is designed to score a touchdown. Sometimes that's not really true, but last drive, that was the case. One play to get into the end zone. Oh, he tries to force it in, and it's intercepted. Picked up by Jalen Johnson. And a terrific return there. They're finally able to corral him down near the 11-yard line. And they'll take possession already in the red zone and in a great spot to add points to the scoreboard. And Brandon, how many times have we seen a defense with a lot of field behind them get even more aggressive, right? They feel like they've got them not pinned down, but in a favorable spot for them. And they took advantage of it there. Got a nice interception and set up their offense in great shape. And running room hard to come by here. He gets it down to the eight. Two yards on the pickup there. It'll be second and eight. To throw his fields. They'll set up the screen for Herbert. They'll get this halfway home from the eight to the four on a gain of four. Good reactions there defensively. That screen was a little slow in developing, and they shut that one down with little gain. Moore, the motion man right. Touchdown! DJ Moore from four yards out. And the Bears are an extra point away now from tying this ball game. Had the option to hand that one off or run it himself, but instead, a really easy, quick pass. I like the way they made a decisive decision and got it right to the receiver. One move later, he's in the end zone. Santos with the extra point, and we are tied at seven. So I'll leave it at seven now as they kick it away. And we see James, he will not return it, and they'll bring it out to the 25. The KC offense out of the huddle, ready for their next drive. 15. 
And for this offense, Charles, you got to think kind of crucial here to put something together on this drive because remember last time out, they threw the interception on the very first play. And you can't afford to let this defense keep building any more momentum. They're playing awfully well and they're awfully confident right now. To me, it's time to attack and take some of that momentum back. But make sure you're selective in doing so. Understand where you want to throw. And nothing but green grass here, middle of the field. Kadarius Tony. And all the way in for a Kansas City touchdown. Kadarius Tony, two catches, two touchdowns here so far. And the Chiefs have taken the lead. Mahomes will throw for it. This is caught. Was he in? Yes. Two points. Well, not content with the first quarter lead, I guess. They're going to go onside kick. And the Bears' hands team able to pounce on it and get the football. So an onside kick fail in the first quarter. Not sure I completely see the logic there. It's not apparent, is it? You almost have to go deeper, I think, and maybe if we try and work along with them and, and speculate a little bit here, they must feel like they need to steal possessions in this game, and maybe they don't match up possession for possession with the opposite team. They've got to steal it and try and gain an advantage, and they tried, they just didn't get it done. Chris Jones on the stop. Brandon, five yards on that run. Let's get back to the huddle and make sure if you're back, you spend time with your offensive line and give them credit. Hard to move those 300 plus pounders at the line of scrimmage, and they did for a significant chunk of yardage. And he's going to get this one down to the edge of the red zone. 27 yards there, first down. Well, that certainly has to feel good. It's not all the time that the play caller should get all the credit. Sometimes I think in the huddle, the quarterback just says, hey, who's going to make a play for me? I just need something right here. And the end result there, nice first down. Drive keeps moving. An entertaining start to this one. More to come on EA Sports. First and ten, it's Herbert. And good downhill running. He's got six yards down to the 13. That play wasn't quite as big as the play that preceded it, but still, got to like the way they're moving the football part here. Absolutely. Pretty good room to run on that last play. Yeah, they didn't get a first down, but still, you'll take runs like that each and every time, won't you? And he's going to be brought down just shy of the five at the six. Seven yards on the pickup there, and now they'll have it first and goal. Yeah, once more, strong running, excellent blocking at the point of attack. They've got a nice little drive brewing right here. They'll run here with Herbert. And he takes this one in for a Bears touchdown. Come on, Herbert. A six-yard touchdown run. And the Bears have come back to make it a two-point game. That almost looked too easy, and I think thanks goes to the offensive line for making it look easy. Yeah, I agree with you totally on that one. I'm not sure how much everyone understands the preparations that go into a game for an offensive line, because there's a reason that running backs and quarterbacks give them big gifts at the end of the season after a big year. The consistency and the continuity it takes to know each other and execute their blocks is pretty impressive. Here comes a return from a few steps into the end zone. And that decision to bring it out ends up not being a good one. Costs him about five yards as he's tackled into 20. The Chiefs offense about set to begin this drive. And right now, we've got a little bit of an offensive masterpiece going on both sides, moving the football, scoring points. It's almost like somebody put the defense on rookie mode in this one. I mean, we haven't even left the first half, Charles, and we're certainly on pace for a shootout. An excellent start for both offenses. The fans have to be enjoying this to seeing all these points go up on the board. As a former defender, you know I'm not enjoying this at all, but right now, both 
both these teams just trading haymakers. Let's see if anyone slips up first. Can anyone counter with a nice little jab and get things going in their direction? And this is going to be incomplete. That could be the stop this defense needed to get them back on track. They've been pretty well dissected by the offense here in the first half. After that possession, now they know that they can compete with this offense. Mahomes going to go on fourth down. Over the middle, complete. It's Rice. And he is going to have the Chiefs first down by a good couple of yards as they end up getting six there on fourth and four. First down, Chiefs. Here's Mahomes to throw. He's going to launch this deep for Watson. And the defense loses him. It's complete. And all the way in for a Kansas City touchdown. Justin Watson, 69 yards. And the Chiefs had six to their lead. Now Mahomes to the line as the Chiefs are going to go for the two-point try. They'll try and throw for it. Flushed out right. And he will get into the end zone. And it's now a two-score game as the lead moves to nine. Boy, I guess they're going to keep trying to put the pedal to the metal here. They're going to try an onside kick. They run it on first with Foreman. And he'll manage to pick up about four in second down. But we all know the guy carrying the ball is going to get the credit both in the stat line and probably in the newspaper. But guess what? Those guys creating holes, they couldn't feel better about themselves right now. Offensive line, tight end, probably even the wide receivers are involved. They're moving the ball well. Call it a gain of four there, so it sets up a big play here. Third and a yard. On any running play that's called, they're always hoping that it's going to break big and go the distance. But when you get a nice game like that, you're able to do so many things anyway. You can come back and run essentially the same play again, continue to move the ball on the ground, or you can decide to throw the ball now because usually you have the defense back on its heels. This is third and one. Very likely four down territory, even if they don't get it, though. Here's Fields. And he takes a shot on the release as this will be incomplete. Kind of a fine line when you're setting up the screen. You don't want to throw it too early and have the defense react too quickly. And you definitely don't want to throw it too late. And that way it's not formed perfectly. Got to make sure you hit it just right. Moore, the man in motion. And it's going to be batted down. The Bears tried it on fourth down, unable to convert. And the Chiefs' defense comes up with a stop. The Chiefs in good position to start out as they come up first and 10 at their 38. Now here's Mahomes. A hit as he throws there, incomplete. Part of what we're seeing so far is the defense is certainly coordinated. Both levels doing their jobs in tandem. The back helping the front, the front helping the back. The pressure got home on that last play and forced him to try and throw it through contact and short of the sticks. Meanwhile, the Holmes throw here complete to Kelsey. And he'll be taken down across the 50 at the 45 in enemy territory. On first down, Mahomes. Gonna look deep here for Pacheco. And this is caught. And in for the Chiefs touchdown. Isaiah Pacheco, 45 yards as his guys are able to extend their lead. So it takes them just three plays here to find the end zone. And you remember, of course, this was all set up by their defense. Yeah, they got the stop on fourth down, so I imagine the offense said to their defense, thank you very much for this great starting field position. And like you said, three plays later, they're in the end zone. Boy, I guess they're going to keep trying to put the pedal to the metal here. They're going to try an onside kick. And this one travels out of bounds, so unsuccessful there on the onside kick try. Here we go. Go. Give him a couple on the scramble. It's second down. 
Brandon, once that one broke down, there were only so many options left for him to take. Fortunately, only first down, so he smartly got the yardage he could get and didn't worry about trying to turn it into a bigger play and end up taking a bigger loss. Here, they hope they can regroup and get something different going here on second down. Fields. And the defense has it covered. It's intercepted. Mike Edwards picks it off. And the Chiefs are going to have it here at their own 15. By the Chiefs. They'll take over first and 10 at their own 15-yard line. So after the INT, here's Mahomes. Pitch and catch here to Travis Kelsey. And he's taken down, but not before he gets this across the 25-yard line. Throwing on first down is Mahomes. That'll be caught by Rice. Now another timeout called for by the offense as they'll stop it with just over 40 seconds to go in the first half. On first and 10, here's Mahomes. The throw for Tony is intercepted. And a terrific return as he brings this one all the way back to the 30. So the first thing that crossed my mind is why didn't they just sit on the lead and take it to the locker room? They're in good shape. Absolutely. And from this spot on the field, now you've given the other side a chance for points here going into intermission. Yeah, you changed the momentum of the game, and it's something you did not need to do. And he'll power his way forward for about four yards there on the first down carry. Second down and six now from the 26. Again, it's Foreman. And not much of a hole there as he gets it down to about the 24-yard line. And now they'll take a timeout defensively. After the second down play, they burn the timeout, making him sweat out the final few ticks here in the second quarter. So on third down, the field goal unit will come out as they'll try to get three before half. From the right hash, it's a 41-yard attempt. Santos' kick is up and through, and that will close the gap down to 14. So they get the turnover in plus territory. The drive stalls out, but still able to get three out of that. Yeah, we were able to see an offense and a defense kind of mix and match with each other, didn't we? Both of them trying to make sure that they had the upper hand and the advantage. Offense trying to get to the end zone. Defense, of course, trying to hold them to a field goal attempt. And it wasn't a guaranteed lock three from where they started. So, you know, the offense has to be happy to come away with those three points. The KC offense out of the huddle, ready for their next drive. Final shot before the half for Mahomes. Looking downfield for Kelsey. That's going to be knocked away and incomplete. First half in the books. You're watching the NFL on EA Sports. And we welcome you back live now inside the booth alongside Charles Davis. I'm Brandon Gordon, set and ready to rock for the third quarter. Both teams appear ready for the fight ahead, and we resume action here in quarter number three. And the Bears' hands team able to pounce on it and get the football. A gutsy call there. Yeggs at the locker room with a lead, tried the onside kick. It didn't work. And you just wonder what the gain was there. They were already in the lead. They were in control of the game. They may have given momentum now to their opponent and maybe kick-started things going in the opposite direction. Two yards on the carry there. It'll be second down. Defenses always talk about earning the right to rush the passer on third down. And you know what offenses want? Win first down so that can set things up for themselves better. And that wasn't helpful there. Not a big impact on first down. Here's Fields now on second down. Man open, here is Jones. And he gets this one inside the 15, just a yard or two shy of the 10. From down at the 12, it's first and 10. Foreman powering ahead. And now lose yardage here. They go backwards to the 13-yard line. He'll lose a yard there, and it's second and 11. And now you have to wonder, partner, at what point in time do they forget the running game? It's been a struggle so far in this one. I would think they'd have to start throwing it a little bit more. Go. On second down, a run with Herbert. And he takes it inside the 10 to the 8 before he's out of bounds. Five yards 
yards on the carry there, and it leaves him with third and about six yards to go. You've got to give kudos to your offensive line and the guy carrying the ball because they were in a second and long situation. It seemed pretty dire, but they brought it back to third and manageable with that run. Now motion left with Mooney. To the end zone, but it's incomplete. So another incompletion there. He's hitting on fewer than half his pass attempts in this one, and that is not a winning formula. Yes, yeah, so let's make sure we give a little bit of credit to the defense here. They give him a lot to think about, a lot of different looks, and he seems a little bit confused trying to complete passes. Santos' kick is up and through, and that will get the disadvantage now back down to 11. Maybe a little fortunate there. That was leaking a little, maybe leaking a lot, but he got it. Yeah, he actually was able to make it work language though right as he watched that ball leak to the right trying to try to bring it back in and had just enough to get it done and we see James he will not return it and they'll bring it out to the 25 Hello. the Chiefs offense about set to begin this drive they had that first half lead, but they have been shut down here in this third quarter, so time to retool a bit. And probably need to tap into that emotional vein that gets them back to really playing hard and effectively. Because a lot of times we think it's just play calls and this isn't working and they're shutting them down. Sometimes when you get a lead, you lose your edge. You don't play quite as hard. That's what they're looking for here. Trying to get that edge back as they've watched this lead shrink a little. And the offense moving quickly to the line. On first down, they go back to Pacheco. And he slips up past the 45 before being tackled. On first and 10, here's Pacheco. And he takes this one down almost all the way to the 30. So into Bear territory now. This is first and 10 at the 32-yard line. Again, it's Pacheco. He's going to go out of bounds, but he takes this one down just shy of the 20. A good gain again. That's now 31 yards combined on those last two plays. I think we're seeing the effect that runs like that are starting to have on this game. They're a little bit slower. That front seven reacting to the football, almost like body blows in boxing. Slowing them down, and they're really starting to take over in this game. Steps away to his left. And this one too low. So it looks like they still have some fight in them on this series because it seemed like things were headed for the red zone. But this defense gets two more stops. They can keep them out of that area. Mahomes going to throw. And that one caught by Rice. Rasheed Rice from 21 yards away. And the Chiefs will add on to their lead here in the final minute of the third. Andy Reid never wanted to shy away from taking chances. He'll go for two. They'll look to throw. Rolling to his right. And he's going to go down. Can't get rid of it. So a sack on the two-point try. And I guess the touchdown wasn't enough. They want the onside kick as well. And the Bears' hands team able to pounce on it and get the football. And that's why you have your hands team out there on the field. Those are the best guys ready to make that play. And let's face it. It was executed well. It wasn't a bad kick. It wasn't anything like that. Just that the normal outcome actually came to play. Analytics would tell you it's a very low possibility of getting the ball for the team kicking it in an onside kick situation. You're all about the numbers, aren't all you? All about the numbers, baby. It's a new game now. They don't lie. Call it a gain of three on the play. And it'll be second down. All defense is worried that whenever anyone catches the ball and has a head of steam come out of the backfield, it could turn into a big play with missed tackles or he runs through people. But they were right there waiting, and they stopped him for a minimal game. And that one opened up for him well as he'll take this down to the 26-yard line. And 
as they come to the line, they will not be able to get off another play as time has run out on this third quarter. You are watching the NFL on EA Sports. Here we go. On first down, right back to Herbert. 56 yards rushing for him now in the ball game. Well, no matter how they phrase it, staying on schedule, staying ahead of the sticks, whatever you want to call it, seven yards on first down, that fits the bill. Now second and three. Fields now to throw. His throw caught at about the five. And the Bears are looking at first and goal as he's tackled all the way down at the two-yard line. A three-score game here late. You can probably rule out the comeback, but certainly some kind of a moral victory to be had if they can get a few more points to close things out. And to that end, a nice pass play there to push things downfield. Yeah, and we know in this league, a loss is a loss, and no one wants anything to count as a... And he'll get into the end zone. Touchdown, Chicago. Khalil Herbert with his second touchdown of the afternoon. And the Bears have got it back to a two-score game here in the fourth. So a little bit of a letdown there defensively. I mean, look, you're still two scores to the good, CD, but things may be a little more uncomfortable than they had hoped. Yeah, if you kept them out of the end zone there, this game's over. You've locked the door on them. Instead, it's... And oh, it's blocked. That's a live ball scooped up by the offense. Well, we looked at each other right when he flinched. We knew that that flag was coming. Yeah, offsides, easy call. Mark off the five and keep it moving. Santos able to tag on the extra point, and the lead is trimmed down to 10. After the touchdown, here's the punter, Trenton Gill, to kick it away. Mahomes will lead the Chiefs up first and 10 at their 25-yard line. They'll try and start this drive in the air. He's going to launch this deep for Watson. It's caught inside the 25. So barely time to catch our breath. Here's first and 10 just outside the red zone. Looking to throw is Mahomes. They'll roll him out right. And that is caught. For the touchdown, Kansas City. Kadarius Tony, a 22-yard touchdown ground. And the Chiefs are an extra point away from making this a three-score game. Mahomes, and he's got it. So the two-point conversion is good, and they add on to their fourth quarter lead. Ooh, a little cruel here. They're going to go for the onside kick up big. And the Bears' hands team able to pounce on it and get the football. Uh, fourth quarter, they felt like they needed the football back. Unfortunately, they couldn't get it. And I know we brought analytics into the game, and someone has said here that the data says that when a team's expecting an onside kick, 80% of the time, the team expecting it, they do actually recover the ball, which is what we saw here. I just wonder if that number is much more of a anecdotal type of a number. Kind of like when the coaches tell us, well, when you score on special teams, 93% of the time you win the game. I'm still waiting to see that number is empirical. Now motion left with Mooney. Now a give to Foreman. And they'll bring him down at the 18-yard line. That one good for 10 yards, and it'll be second and very short. Well, partner, I know this type of running back. I mean, this size, this intensity usually gets better as the game goes on. And I can just tell you from experience, the first few quarters, oh, you're eager. You come running up there. I'm going to tackle this guy. By the fourth quarter, you're coming up and thinking about it. And D-line wearing down fourth quarter. Yeah, that's not a guy they want to see consistently. And his defense here going to burn their second timeout. But you can also factor in another timeout that they'll get when the clock stops at the two-minute warning. Here we go. First and goal, and they got to be thinking a chance to get right back into this football game. They'll run here with Foreman. And he is in. Touchdown, Chicago. Deontay Foreman, 
A six-yard touchdown run. And the Bears are able to cut into that deficit. Santos with the extra point, and that'll make this now an 11-point deficit. After the touchdown, here's the punter, Trenton Gill, to kick it away. And we'll see a return here from the... In trouble, and the ball's out. It's in the end zone, loose. And they bring this one back. A fumble return for a Bears touchdown. And all of a sudden, we've got a ball game. They get the touchdown, then on the kickoff, they get another touchdown, picking up the fumble, taking it to the house in just a matter of moments. Two quick scores, Charles. Every time we start to neglect special teams and big plays that occur off of them, something like this happens that reminds us we've got ourselves a game now. Here we go now as we get set for a big two-point conversion. Fields trying to throw for it. And they don't get it. They tried for the two-point conversion there, but unsuccessful. And you can bet they're preaching two hands on the ball here as the kicks away following that fumble return. out of the huddle ready for their next drive after the touchdown we just saw we have a brand new ball game and now look at the situation you've got plenty of time on the clock defensively they have three timeouts so do you run the football here or do you throw it I think you have that full conversation with your offensive unit and you tell them here's the situation they've got all their timeouts so we are not going to play this conservative one. we've got to attack them we've got to make them use those gain the ground that we need in order to put this game away do you think we're just going to run it three times and punt it you got no thinking Mahomes hit he lost the football and now this ball picked up by the offense but here in the final two minutes of the game this will be ball dead Fumbler can advance the football, so this will go back to the spot of the fumble itself. Mahomes in the offense staying out there. They'll go for it on fourth. Mahomes throwing on fourth. And he's brought down. Can't do anything with the football. It's a sack and a turnover on downs. Now the Bears going to call the first of their timeouts as they get the stoppage with a little over 50 seconds left to go in the game. Here's first and goal. And off right side for Herbert. And he stopped immediately there. Partner, you've got about 20 coaches on your payroll, but there's 60,000 of them in the stands. I don't think any of them like that play. And the later we go, it's starting to sound like 100,000 in here. They'll go again here from the 10-yard line on second and goal. Back to throw. Fields. To the right side, and he's got more complete. He takes it across for a touchdown, and they've taken the lead late in the final minute of the third. Wow, wow. Well, that is the definition, Charles, of delivering under pressure. The game-winning potential. There's still a little time left on the clock, but the potential game-winning drive, and it was well executed. I think we're going to remember this possession for a long time. We've called a bunch of games. But how about how they got it done down the stretch? Absolutely terrific. Barring some type of miraculous play in this last half minute, I think that touchdown just earned them the win. They really came up clutch when they needed it. Well, after the touchdown, here's the punter, Trenton Gill, to kick it away. And a fair catch taken. No time will come off the clock. And they will begin this critical drive at the 25-yard line. Here's first and 10. Mahomes. He finds his man complete. That's Rice. 
And he's going to get out of bounds with the first down. So an ideal set of circumstances there. They move the chains, and they save that final timeout. Mahomes. This one complete to Nicole Hardman. The Chiefs quickly now going to use the last of their timeouts as the clock will stop with an even 20 seconds left to go. Here's Mahomes. To the right side, it's Kelsey. And he's tackled a yard short of the marker. Good gain of nine on first down. Everything right now resting on the right foot of Harrison Butker. This from 55 yards out. And this doesn't get there. It's no good. They had to go for it, but their final effort here is going to come up short. So a field goal that could have won it, what a ride. Pretty good distance field goal. It wasn't a chip shot, but still, that one's going to stick with him for a little while, you'd have to think. It is, and I know that he missed that one, and they walk off the field, and obviously they don't feel great about themselves. They just lost the game. But this is where the proficiency of kickers actually comes back and hurts them because they've gotten so good that we expect them to make just about everything, and we forget that's still a long field goal attempt. And so much pressure there at the end of the game. It's one of those situations, unfortunately, where you're either the hero or you're the GOAT. And what you also hope is that you've built up